Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about different types of compensator or controller. Compensator and controller both are different thing, don't get confused. Before starting this video, I would suggest you to like, share and subscribe this channel. Also, you can hit the bell icon to get instant notification. You can even share your views, queries or suggestion for next video by commenting below. So let's start this video. Basically, we have three types of compensator, lead compensator, lag compensator and lag lead compensator. Lead compensator is similar to derivative type of controller or we can say proportional derivative. Lag compensator is similar to integral or proportional integral type of controller. And lag lead compensator is similar to PID, which is proportional integral derivative type of controller. Then lead compensator is used to improve transient response. Lag compensator is used to improve steady state response. And lag lead compensator is used for improvement of both the risk type of response. Now, the Laplace transform of any derivative is usually given by that uh, Laplace transform of that function into S. And uh, for integral, we use 1 by S and then Laplace transform of that function. So we can say that lead compensator is equal to adding of a 0 and lag compensator is equal to adding of a pole. And in this case, it is equivalent to adding both zero and pole to the function. Lead compensator is equivalent to high pass filter. And lag compensator is equal to low pass filter. And when we have this lag lead, which is a combination of lead and lag compensator. So if we can see that um, high pass filter usually allow frequency above the cutoff frequency and low pass filter will allow below the cutoff frequency so thus it rejects a particular band which is this so we can say that it acts as a band reject filter now lead compensator we all know that it is equivalent to adding a zero therefore zero is near the origin and then in case of lag compensator, it is a pole. And in case of lag lead, it will depend on the value of the compensator added. Now, PD controller is used to improve the transient response. And thus, it decreases the rise time. And thus, it improves the speed. But this is not available in this case. So, speed is not improved it is decreased and we get comparatively slow response and since this one is a combination of both so we will get a mixed type of response in this case now gain crossover frequency or omega gc it is shifted to higher value in case of lead compensator and in case of lag compensator it is shifted to a lower value but here the response is usually neutral now, rise time, we all know that lead compensator is used to improve transient response, which means fast response, or we can say that rise time is decreased. But in case of lag compensator, rise time is increased. And in lag lead compensator, there is net decrease in the rise time. Now, bandwidth. Bandwidth is usually inversely proportional to rise time. Therefore, we can expect just opposite of this, which is increase in lead compensator, decrease in lag compensator, and lag lead compensator will result in increase. Then stability. Obviously, when you're adding a pole, stability will be decreased. But this is not in the case of adding a zero. So here, stability will be improved. And in lag lead compensator, the stability will be comparatively improved. So this was all about the types of compensator and controllers and their performance. You can even take a screenshot of this screen to get better idea. 
If you like this video, then please give a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.